in Turkey. Grief and outrage are growing this morning after a mine disaster. Funerals are being held today for some of the 282 people killed. Demonstrators blame the government for the explosion and fire. These photos appear to show an aide to the prime minister kicking a protester in Soma. Holly Williams is in Soma where the search for survivors is on hold. Holly, good morning. Good morning. Hundreds of families lost fathers, husbands and sons in this disaster and they want to know what went wrong. But many people here say they already know who's at fault. This is Turkey's worst ever mining accident. And in villages across this region, they're counting the cost in lives. Suleiman and Ismail Jatta were twin brothers who worked and died in the mine. They were buried together yesterday. And they're digging more fresh graves because over a hundred miners are still trapped underground and few here expect they'll be brought out alive. But Turkey's grief is already erupting into anger and its target is the country's government, which some here say is too close to the mining companies and too lax when it comes to safety standards. The Turkish Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan visited the mine yesterday and was later heckled by an irate crowd who called him a murderer and a thief, forcing him to seek refuge in a supermarket. In two of the country's biggest cities, Istanbul and Ankara, thousands of protesters took to the streets and clashed with the police. But outside the mine today, there were no angry displays. Family members still waiting for news seem worn down by their anguish. Sevim Goshkun told us she's been here for three days because her son Ismail is inside the mine. I haven't slept since the accident, she said. The mining company told me he's dead, but I want to see his body. Rescue teams here told us this morning they had to stop their efforts late, late last night because of poisonous fumes inside the mine and they have not been able to resume their work. Nora. All right, Holly, thank you.